Hey, what's up guys? A really cool video on why your sales guy that maybe you pay five grand a month is actually costing you a half a million dollars a year. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's dive right in. I'm gonna use the whiteboard, okay? It's gonna be a lot of numbers, it's gonna be quick, so just follow me, all right? Follow me, rewind, slow it down. So we're talking about how the sales guy cost me $5,000 a month, but it actually cost me a half a million dollars in revenue. It cost me a half a million dollars to hire this guy. So one of the first things, let's make some assumptions here. First off, let's, let's just say that our clients are, are ARPA, our average revenue per account is 1500 bucks. On average, our clients are paying us 1500 bucks. And let's say that on average, we get about 40 leads per month. We get about 40 leads per month. And so let's stick to these numbers. And, and our conversation has been, hey JC, man, I have an opportunity to hire this amazing sales guy, or I can just do it myself. And I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Now this sales guy, here's the deal. If I pay him 5,000 bucks a month, which you see, if he just closes three deals a month, I'm making my money back. Well, yeah, you are. You're making your money back on your investment. But what about the opportunity? What about the lost opportunity? You see, we have a couple of variables here. And the biggest one that I want to talk about first, the most important one, is the variable of the close rate. Even if I'm not as good of a salesperson tip as the sales guy that I'm gonna hire, typically as the business owner, typically as the business owner, I can portray my business in a much higher way. People like working with entrepreneurs. They wanna give us a chance. Normally, the close rate of a business owner, of an agency owner, is gonna be much higher, or at least a little bit higher, than a sales guy. So we gotta throw this in. So let's say my sales guy on average close rate is 20%. And let's say my, myself, I'm average of 30%, right? And you gotta keep track of these. I'm gonna bring out my calculator here so I don't get lost in the math. So in this sales guy, we're gonna close essentially out of the 40. He's gonna on average close about eight deals per month. And I'm gonna close right out 12. And you can already see this start to play out, but it's gonna be much bigger than what you think. So $1,500, times eight is 12 grand, 12K in monthly revenue, and 12 times 1,500 is 18 grand. Well, JC, look at this. Man, it's, it's, it's only $6,000, but here's the deal. How, many, how long do your clients on average stay with you? This isn't rocket science. Let's say, let's say that your clients, you're not, <laughs> You're a good agency, but you're not incredible, and it gets worse if you're incredible. But let's say on average you stay six months. Six months. Well, this client is different. This group of clients is different by 6K, right? So we got 18,000. I lost 6K in revenue. I lost 6K in revenue in opportunity, right? The opportunity to close more because it's me. So I lost $6,000, right? $6,000 which is the 18 minus the 12, times six months is $36,000 in revenue. This group of clients in one month, because I went from 20% to 30%, cost me $36,000. But it doesn't stop there, I actually paid this guy. Let's say, including commission and everything, I paid him 5K, now guess what? We're at 41,000, this guy, cost you $41,000 per month. Now, guess what? We've got 12 months in a year, $41,000 times 12, ladies and gentlemen, is $492,000 is what this client costs you, what this sales agent that saved you a ton of time, and I'm not saying you shouldn't hire sales agents. I'm saying that you have to be aware of the cost that they're actually costing you. It's not just about the ROI of the sale, it's about the ROI of the opportunities that they did or did not get, right? So it's so crucial. This could mean, hey, maybe you replace this. Maybe you have sales guy A versus sales guys B, right? And, and, and what's the difference between this guy and this guy? Well, this guy, it's, four, it's half a million dollars in revenue on an annual basis, but there's one more factor here. I'm not even gonna factor it in, but there's one more factor here and that's retention. The reality is, is that typically, myself as the business owner, I'm looking typically at the bigger picture. 
perhaps I'm setting a little bit better expect expectations. Potentially, as the business owner myself, I'm able to follow up that client. I can solve problems quicker. I can. It's probably that this client, on average, actually stays nine months versus six. It actually stays 10 months instead of seven. It typically, as the business owner, if I sell and I can jump in for retention, I can jump in to help calm the client down, can get answers quickly, not only will I make more money here, this is just if those clients stay the exact amount of time. But normally, the way I set expectations, it's always better that sales guys, typically they just wanna make the sale, right? Typically, we, we all get in sales mode and we wanna make the sale. Typically, I'm selling better. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not to tell you don't hire a salesperson. That's not, I just want us to be aware of what we're doing and how much it actually cost us. $492,000 is actually how much this sales guy cost. Not 60K a year. Guys, I hope you have an incredible day. For more content like this, more really thought-provoking videos on agency growth and scalability, definitely subscribe. Check us out on Instagram. I mean, we're everywhere. Check it out. Make sure you get a membership at the digitalachacker.com where all of our stuff is free. I look forward to connecting with you in the future. I hope you have an incredible, incredible day. And remember, make it, make it a great day. It's in your control.